Hi there, folks. It's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the best support ticketing um, solutions out there. At WP Tonic, we have a focus on people that want to produce a thriving membership e-learning business in 2024. So a lot of our clients need a ticketing system for their students when they get up to a, a certain level, um, doing it through a spreadsheet or just doing it through an inbox um, when you've got hundreds of possible students joining in your course um, just doesn't really um, help. Um, basically. So we've got a fair bit of experience in advising what are some of the best choices. So I think I've got a lot of insight to offer you. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. I'm coming back, folks. So we're going to be looking at the best um, support ticketing systems out there. And um, I'm basically going to keep this video reasonably short and I'm going to look at three major buckets that have different solutions in each bucket. I also want to point out I've written a very extensive post on all the leading solutions out there and there's a lot of them and you find the link to that free article in the description underneath this video. So, like I say, there's three major buckets, and these buckets are um, SaaS, Software as a Service. There's a number of solutions there. There's um, open source software, which you have to host. And then there's a number of WordPress plugin solutions for your WordPress-powered website. Or you could have the WordPress website as a standalone with just the support plugin, ticketing plugin, and offer it through there. So let's look at the SaaS solutions out there. And the big daddy, one of the leaders is Zendesk. Um, Zendesk kind of uh, was one of the original SaaS products in the support ticketing um, field. And it's a great platform and it offers a lot of integration, not um, with WordPress, with an, um, Wix, with a number of different platforms. And it is polished, but it is expensive. Um, example, their monthly um, one, su one support agent plan I think is around $69 a month and you get that down to around 50, 55 if you pay yearly, which is almost six, almost $700 a year. God, God help you if you need more than one support agent. Um, and if you, if you're getting a modular, modular success with your membership website, you probably are going to have, um people helping you with the support um that's when it can get really expensive really quickly with zendesk another one very popular is freshdesk and um i started with that actually because it does offer a, a free plan now the problem with Fre freshdesk free plan is it's not tripled you can use it, but they are very cagey about um, what they offer in the free plan. What I mean by that is you can't, with the free plan, you can't do any custom fields. So um, at WP Tonic, we have quite a lot of people that we are hosting websites for. So we need the URL of the website when they put a support ticket in for something. Well, um, with the free plan, you can't do that. Um, you can only have a custom field like asking for the URL of the website if you go up to the next level, and that's around $400 if you pay yearly. That's the problem with that. But it works really well. Um, but uh, the interface is nowhere as polished 
as Zendesk, because Zendesk is the front end and the back end is very, very pol polish, and it comes with a really great app as well. And you do get all that with fresh desk, but in no shape or form is it as polished. But there's about three to four other leaders, but I'm not going to go through them all in this video because it'd be a very long video. Now, um, the next type. Um, well, that's going to be self-hosted. And one of the main players in that is OS Ticket. They are an Australian-based company. They offer, um, and what I mean by self-hosted is you're going to have to download the pro the software. You're going to have to set up your own hosting account. You're going to have to upload it, unpackage it, and set it all up. Now, um, if you're a developer type or you're in IT, they it's become the darling of that crowd because they love mucking around with the terminal and set, setting it up on a Linux server, which they self-host, blah, blah, blah. Um, for the business type and for the, biz, the small business, this isn't so attractive. OS Ticket also offer a self, uh, a hosted plan, a SaaS plan. The problem with that is, is the pricing is very similar to some of the other SaaS platforms out there. Um, but the interface isn't as polished, in my opinion. Um, so if you're going to go with the non-hosted, self-hosted plan, you might as well look at Zendesk or some of the other offerings. That's my opinion, but that's my fault. And if you're a normal um, person, um, downloading it, uploading it, getting it all set up on a server really isn't going to be your cup of tea. Now, the third bucket is WordPress. So you've got a WordPress website with your main company website on it, or, or you want just to have a ticketing system on a, just a fresh version of WordPress. You've got those two options. But there's a number of great plugins out there. Like I say, I was with Freshdesk. But then I found out about Fluent Support, and it's really, really nice. It's got a really nice interface. It's not too complicated, and the pricing is very attractive, um, especially if you've got more than one support um, agent. Uh, it's really powerful, and it really integrates well with WordPress. The other beautiful thing is, because it's from the Fluent family, it really works well with Fluent CRM. And Fluent CRM is the leading WordPress-powered CRM system, very similar to Active Campaign in its functionality and what it offers, which is um, email and, uh, and just business organization in one one plugin and it's enormously powerful and it really works well with the fluent support i've been really really happy with it and i would highly recommend it so but there's a number of other wordpress really good solutions out there so some of the others might have a feature which fluent um support doesn't have so you do have to look at the detail. I've got all, I think, over 17 of these different solutions um, listed in the article with a write-up. So definitely have a look at that. If you found this video really useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really does encourage me to make more of these videos. And give us some feedback about what I've said. If you agree with it, disagree with it, I'm up for a good, honest discussion and give us that feedback. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.